Mirahim. Today we will uh, cover some leftover topics from the fourth uh, lecture we had, like images in HTML. We will play uh, with certain image images and their behavior in the page based on some CSS. And from the last lecture, we were not able to animate the uh, display block. So, have you found something for it? Yeah, display block was not getting animated if you remember. Yes, sir. So what was the reason? So we also have that problem, sir. Okay, so my finding is that blo uh, the display block property is not animatable. Yes, like it doesn't get any effect with transitions. Yes, so you can have alternative, alternative uh, ways of doing it. For example, opacity. Right now, if I hover over it, so yes, opacity moves from zero to 100 yes. percent that's why it's ha it has now animation but display block actually if you remember the code <coughs> we had uh, the sub as display uh, hidden and then we were hovering over it and we were making the sub display block if you remember now as an alternative what I have done is opacity is zero means initially the the sub opacity is zero it is there but it's it has zero opacity once you hover over it the opacity becomes one so if i inspect it for example this sub and then here we have opacity zero if i remove it it means it is available it's visible sort of not hidden but it's zero that's why it's not visible 100 percent opacity and we have given it a transition of opacity for 0 0.2 seconds and is in or whatever so once we hover over it the code we have written is if we are on the sub parent hover and sub then we make the opacity one so in 0 0.2 seconds it becomes 1 that's why we are able to uh, have that effect of transition one thing you can um, simulate hovers here also in inspector for example if I click on it and click on hover so this means what will happen if I hover something or visit it or active whatever so this is one of the so for example if I hover over it the opacity m moves from 0 to 1 and that's why it has some sort of transition which is covered in 0 0.2 seconds is it fine mm -hmm. there would uh, be some but better ways also you can google yourself okay okay now I will create a page for images HTML. div class is equal to images or image and we will place an image here we already have one uh, dg dot png so image src equals where we are in the page so images slash mm, bg dot png now I'll open from next lecture we will use uh, the extension of server so that everything is automatically up updated once we go to the browser right mm -hmm. right now it's just fine to refresh the page so i will open um, what's the page name images why is this calling anybody exactly the width of the 
um, image right now is more than actually the screen resolution and if you have got to check whether a website has been built the proper way or um, not in a proper way one of the examinations you can do is if it has horizontal scroller this means this is I mean poorly yes. built there should be no horizontal scroller in websites yes. if it has some scrolling I mean available here it means it means this uh, website is not 100 percent correct so we can give some styling here to the image img width 100 percent now the scroller has gone there is no scroller anybody is this um, i mean do you understand what uh, the behavior is actually width 100 percent means it will take 100 percent of the width yes. not its actual width yes. right yes. so right now it has whatever is the um, width of the browser it will take that yes. width if i make it 50 percent <coughs> so understandably it will be 50 percent of the and if I make it for example 25 percent it's 25 percent right okay this is not the proper way of reducing sizes of uh, images this is not the proper way of redu reducing sizes in a web page why anybody yeah it actually um, shrinks according to the aspect ratio okay so my question is say i have 10 such images in a s in smaller sizes is it i mean is the page optimized no, sir, no. why because uh, it is a block level no i mean sir. if i save this image for example somewhere it will have some size Yes, sir. And we have just via CSS shortened the size of the image. This is not the proper way of doing it. If I click on always, always, if I say, for example, if I go to CNN.com, for example, and this is an image. If I click on it, open image in new tab. So the actual size of the image is this. Yes, actual size of the image is this. But because of CSS, it has been shortened. So still there, there can be improvement in it. For example, if there is a website with say 100 such images in a page and we have only reduced the size of the image via CSS only, it means if I right click on it, open image in new tab, that's the actual size of the image. So on the page from the server, image has been downloaded in its actual size, but only in the browser, it has been shortened. So this is not the right way of shortening images. When we reach PHP and Drupal, it will be done via PHP or Drupal. Yes. So then on from the server, smaller images will be sent to the browser. Yes. Right? Yes. If you click on open image in a tab and it's of the same size, it means that's correct. But if right click and you uh, open image in the tab and the image is larger than the actual this one, it means just CSS was used to shorten the images, yes. which is not correct. Yes, so for example, the actual size of this image is 5 MB, yes, right? Mm -hmm. And there are 20 images on this page. So 5 multiplied by 20, 100 MB, yes, it will take so much to download. But what your uh, role as a developer would be to shorten these images from the server. This is known as thumbnailing, yes, thumbnailing in PHP or whatever. So what it actually does is it will send you smaller images from the server. It won't take time and uh, you won't have to, uh, I mean, reduce the sizes of the images in CSS. Have you got the point and yes, concept? Yes, we will cover it once we reach PHP or Drupal, right? Yes. Right now, just assume that 
we will be provided some images from the server in the desired sizes okay now <coughs> i am going to give this div some size images div so dot images width is equal to for example 400 pixel height is 300 pixel and background color is is yellow for now why is this image now such a small one anybody because it is according to that container which are in exactly the so yes. we will remove this image 25% for now yes, rather make it width okay let me just give some uh, other values also for now just refresh the page so again this is such a large image it is inside the images div we want uh, there are two properties actually maybe more to the images div we will give overflow hidden what does this mean that if the size of it something out of uh, mm, this uh, container goes out of proportion yes. it will cut it out so refresh so this is just now the corner of the image and the rest of it has been hidden yes. so overflow hidden means if something overflows out of this container it will uh, not be shown yes. that's the point another one is overflow scroll so you might have seen certain divs here is it did we save it scroll scroll not available okay scrolling on both directions actually can you see yes sir scroll was actually not available that's why i was not able to the two uh, this is because of the scroll property images if i make it to um, what was the previous one hidden. hidden so now there is no scroll it's just hidden the overflow is hid hidden right but the magical property of width 100% to the we will remove this one with 100% so it will make the width of this image since it is larger than this container equal to 400 pixels fine but what width does is it actually um shortens uh, the width of it as per aspect ratio yes, so height is also i mean according with its original um, size it decreases according to its aspect ratio so this gap is there in the so what we can do is we can make height as 100% also so can we use image height yes so now it has covered everything is this okay yes, yes, but it has a caveat now what is that anybody it has a problem now what problem is this say for example let me just uh, person images 
this one can be a good example save images so the expect ratio is broken exactly we we'll change it to person this is a new format probably Okay. Maybe this is even a better example. So you, you can see the if I remove the hundred percent height, it will be in its nor a normal proportion. This is normal. But if I make it hundred percent, it will get stretched and uh, breaking the aspect ratio. And even worse, if I make the heights, for example, 600, so this will even be worse. So the problem with 100% height is that it actually stretch, stretches the height and the uh, aspect ratio is broken, kind of. So we have a property known as object fit. We will give object dash fit cover contain fill all of these just like background images these properties will have some uh, effect so for example if I make it contain so it will forget about the height uh, um, it will be according to its aspect ratio and fully within the limits of the bounding box it is in if I make it cover what's the actual size of the this we should have a larger image for this demo but okay hundred percent what with hundred percent will do is it will make it confined inside this parent container
Size background size is for background images. Background images. Okay, actually, uh, for this demo, we should have the container smaller than the image itself mm -hmm. because it will always be like I mean, both properties will be the same if the uh, height is <coughs> more than the container's height is more than the image. So, for now, we will just make it 200 for your understanding. like this if I <coughs> contain I saved it That's it. Okay. Let us make it. How do you find what's the size of uh, an image? So I will get get info. It will have some height and width somewhere. So the height is 275 and width is 474. So we will make the height 250 of the div and for now it's okay. So images is 250 height, the uh, div is 250 height and image has a height of 270 something. So contain tries to be inside the container. If we make it cover again, there is some problem. Object fit. We are missing this height property actually. We have to specify height to certain value. The height is 200, width is 100% and we have given it a object fit of cover. But if we make it contain, so the, the actual image will be inside that bounding box.
okay so the actual image height is in the uh, file system is 274 right and we have given it a width of 200 pixels and i have removed the um, wrapping diff altogether that has no impact on it so these two values are very important i will demo it in a column for now this will explain it better so contain will uh, make the image actual size the actual size is something else which is on the file system but we have given it a height of 300 pixels so you can assume there is an imaginary box around the uh, image which which is of 300 pixels so this property object fit will make it contained inside it means that 300 uh, pixel box around the image the actual image will be inside it with proper uh, aspect ratio but if we hover over it the object fit becomes cover it means that if we hover over it the dimensions will be taken and it will be sort of zoomed uh, zoomed in and the aspect ratio won't be disturbed but a portion of it will be visible so, for example, if I give it a height of 300 pixel and I remove this, you can understand it from here. If I remove the object property and give it a 300 pixel height, so it's stretched. Can you feel the difference? In contain, it will be inside its imaginary bonding box in its actual size. But if we have given it a 300 pixel height, its actual size has increased that's why it doesn't look good so in order to make it look good we should use cover object fit cover doesn't stretch the image it sort sort of you uh, zooms it in so this is very much used in slideshows full width uh, view uh, port width and height so this property in conjunction with viewport uh, widths, it makes the image neither uh, stretch unnecessarily uh, as per its height as well as width. Do you see any difference between these two? Which one is better? Hmm? The second one is better because of it zooms it in and it doesn't disturb the uh, aspect ratio so let us recap it because it was a teaser the image has a 100% uh, width and it should it must have some height in order to make the object fit properties work correctly so the problem with uh, images height is if we don't use object fit property it will stretch like this of its original size original size is uh, more than the original height is more than two uh, is 274 so we have given it a css property of 300 means the it is more than its original height that's why it gets stretched so we will reintroduce object 
fit contain now it won't stretch it will be inside this 300 imaginary box so if i refresh it it will be like this with aspect ratio intact if you use contain and to cover these two spaces in the height we have given it for uh, in css what it will do is we will use object fit cover so if i hover over it it's on it can be a very good zoom effect also let us try transition on it transition uh, all 0.2 seconds is in so probably it also doesn't get animated the transition of uh, object fit but still there can be transforms we will study it in subsequent lectures so we can achieve all of those there so let us recap it again if we give some height to an image which is more than its actual height that's main the co the concept is this actually for example if i open this image person 3 the height i just showed you is 274 this one 275 the actual size of the uh, the height of the image is 275 if we give it in css more than its actual size so the height is 300 pixel here let us let me make it 600 so you will even be more clearer in 600 pixels uh, it's more than its actual height and I, for now i will just remove the object fit property so it's very much stretched right yes. but if i hover over it it makes it contained so it will clip parts of it i mean the image will be zoomed in it won't be disturbed either stretch or whatever but it will be sort of zoomed in and it's the parts of it will be clipped that's a better behavior than that stretching if i just remove the mouse from it look at it it's, it's not optimal but if i make it contained what do you expect chavas if i make the object dash fit contain yeah but we we will see a lot of yellows due to the height that's it yeah exactly that's that's the main concept actually so sorry for if i was uh, mixing things up but that's the main uh, concept is this clear now Yes, okay uh, yesterday i missed something uh, background colors to divs and we will apply that to that previous example of positioning uh, sorry uh, we had one of the in which we had used uh, boxes above the image which page was it backgrounds probably yes this one the bottom of the page i will create a div class is equal to gradient background gradient dash background and i will give it a background color red width 600 pixels height 30 
थ्री हंड्रेड पिक्सल्स मार्जिन डैश जीरो ऑटो आई जस्ट रिफ्रेश द पेज सो दिस इज द रेड डेप इन साइड द पेज नाउ आई वॉन्ट इट टू हैव से ब्लू कलर ऑन द टॉप एंड येलो ऑन द बॉटम दिस इज ग्रेड इन एक्चुअली सो सी सिस बैकग्राउंड ग्रेडियंट The syntax is same uh, background dash image and then linear dash gradient and two colors. And it has it can have stops also. I will uh, define it. So background dash image linear dash gradient. and then it's a bracket it's a function actually so for now i'll remove the red <coughs> background dash Im uh, image so for example blue and green i will refresh the page where is it this one so you might have seen something like this before so on the top is blue and at the bottom it is green by default it's top to bottom so we can make it sorry what is this doing to right right so now it's from mm, left to right okay if you uh, give it rgb colors rgb colors are red green yeah so for example advantage of uh, giving it rgb colors is that it has opacity also a value of opacity so for example rgb a means um 225 225 225 1 2 rg b a 0 Zero, zero, and for example, zero point. Uh, it's one. Let us make it one, and make it zero, and we will also make them zero. This is black, hundred percent black, two hundred percent. transparent so from transparent to one uh, to 100% black and we will make it to right we will remove this one so so that is top to bottom default if i refresh it so it's 100% transparent to the top and um 100% black to the bottom so now the whole uh, purpose of this was i want you might have seen it in the headers of the website the top is 100% transparent and then at the bottom it is 100% black sort of so we have got to move this diff um we got to move this diff inside this um, image you got it so i will move this gradient background to inside the wrapper which we had made yesterday and remove the width we will make the width 100% and 
and height we will remove it because or the height 100% is fine too do you see any change it's inside the wrapper now if I remove uh, if I delete this or if I uh, remove the background so you will see it is 100% but it again is introduced can you see a change yeah, yes. yeah. if I remove uh, the black color from this uh, div it will be more evident this one so this is our uh, this one how to comment CSS line anybody yes this and then this so you can you see it now yes, sir. we have a div which is but this is by luck it is showing up uh, there are times when because of z index you, you will only be seeing this diff on the top of every element for example if i change the z index of uh, this to dash index 1 sorry 5 and this one is 4 uh, 6 rather What do you expect? Hmm? Expect. This is the uh, gradient background. The Z index is six. Is this, uh, No, oh yeah, yeah. These are um, we haven't made it actually a uh, position absolute. You are right. So we will make it position. This is what we were forgetting actually. Absolute. Absolute. So with position absolute, what you do is left zero and top zero. This is actually I wanted to see. Uh, this text is now not clickable. It even has moved out of the container. So we have got to fix it. This is position. Yeah. yeah. So had we not made the main container relative no. previously, no. this is maybe we are not closing it properly. This is this div, this is this bottom. Okay, actually, we are two divs like this. Normally, if you are developing and you must be, I mean, mm, mm, thinking why are certain links not clickable or certain text not clickable it is visible because of the opacity but this text is not selectable as well as this is not clickable so the reason always is that uh, wrong yeah so the, the problem is that this is above everything else have you ever noted in uh, websites if you click something the whole window becomes dark and then something appears nothing becomes clickable uh, below that div this is also because of 100% with absolute days so that we'll um, make those in javascript inshallah so now the remedy is what we should do we have to make this 5 and this one um, where is it 6 so that this is above this one now it's fine. Okay, there is there are online tools. 
you may never need them but if at all you need so css gradient generators and there can be more than one spots also i mean if i uh, need this we just use two colors there can be more than two or three or four or ten whatever colors so for example i choose uh, this style this one for example it has more colors right even we can add more tabs also and change colors for example this is this one this is this one and this is yellow this is going to be the background color so from here you can copy just copy the css clip copy to clipboard that's it and right away give this to this gradient div for example let us use this one it will override that so without any thinking you have copied and created a background uh, and if i just refresh it now you can see the whole image has been covered with this color and if uh, uh, you can apply uh, get uh, opacities here also so for example on this uh, color opacity is 0.2 <coughs> this one is sorry here the capacity is here of each slot half one this one let us make it 100% so if now i copy it to clipboard and go to and save it if you re declare a property in css what it does is it overrides it okay in this it's not a good practice but now as we are practicing things that's fine so can you anybody tell me why are some of the uh, why why is uh, image now visible because of the opacity exactly we were not adding opacity before and now we do have opacity so if you see something like this in a web page just uh, realize that maybe they have used css background uh, colors right Yes, this is a function actually. Background dash uh, image, mm -hmm. and then uh, line, uh, linear dash gradient. There are radial gradients also. I personally haven't uh, have never used them. I will always teach you things which are in practice basically. So mostly this overlay effect of top to bottom, 100% uh, black and 100% transparent of the blacks, so that uh, some part of the image is visible, and then that is mostly used. Not these colors. So today we discussed uh, basically object fit uh, property of uh, the images and some background images uh, color of uh, days or whatever. One thing max uh, width. Have you guys used max width property? So it will uh, contain uh, the maximum width of the container, sir. What it has, sir. Responsive design use. Yeah, design. but why why is it used in responsive designs? Uh, screen, uh, different skin, uh, screen. For different screen, it will take uh, responsive. I will demo it. We will go back to the images uh, tab, and we have the main image um, width of hundred percent. And we have the images. Uh, for example, if I make it to the width is hundred percent, right? Let's go back to the images.
I will make the images div for example 800 pixels. Do you remember what was actual width of the image? It was like uh, uh, height was 275 and width was. Let us check it again. 474 something. Yeah, 474 something it was. Yeah, 504. This one. Inspect. Width is 474, mm -hmm. right? So now the where is images? The div width is 800 pixels, and we have uh, given it the width of 100 uh, percent, right? We will just refresh it. So now the image is uh, more than its actual size. If I just inspect it. width is 800 pixels it's more than its 474 size yes, if i make the div for example 1600 pixels so what will be the width of the image anybody because if i remove the object fit contained for now just for your understanding so the image is 100 percent of the its container which is 1600 pixels and it doesn't look good at all so what max uh, width does is if a div is smaller than the actual size of the image if a div is smaller than the actual size of the image it will stretch 100 percent but if it is larger than its actual size so it will just stop there that's actually the difference between uh, width 100% and max width 100%. So if I just refresh it, let me remove all these for now. Mm. So for example, Now if I make this for example 300 pixels, what will be the size of the image? 300 pixels, right? Because it's um, according to uh, max width 100% means it will stretch 100% to the container. But, but if the container size increases than actual size of the image, which is 474, then it will stop there. So for example, if we give it 1000 pixels, <coughs> remove the head also. It has stopped there. It won't stretch beyond its actual size. But if the size of the div is smaller than its actual size, for example, it's 200 pixels. It will be 100% of 200 pixels, like this. But if it is more than its uh, actual size, then it will stop there. That's, so in responsive design and in images, normally you will see this default property, max width 100%. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So these are basically uh, some of the main styles you will give to images in your uh, layouts. Inshallah tomorrow we will discuss flex and we will create a layout, uh, an e-commerce product page layout based on flex. And these some of these uh, image based CSS styles will be applied there as well. Inshallah. Thank you very much.